the second year. Uh, it's called GIS Workshop. Uh, the broader premise being that students work together with community partners uh, in developing uh, a project that will hopefully fit the organizational mission of the individual community partners. But we have a couple community partners who have returned. Open Door Health Services uh, here in Muncie is going to be working with us again. They, they were impressed with what we produced last year with regard to um, age around 16 data. And so we're going to be doing that for an, a largely adult population. The other group um, is largely um, under the umbrella of United Way of Delaware County. We are working with the GIS class on mapping to map um, poverty and social service availability in Delaware County so that we can do a better job of providing services and see where the gaps are. And then in addition to those two existing partnerships that we've, we've uh, continued, uh, we've also got Indiana Work One, which is a part of the Indiana Department of Workforce Development, primarily focused on how to make sure that the communities in need have access to timely information about social service provision. What we hope to do uh, is, again, to be able to better serve you know, folks um, who, are at, who are at the crossroads in their life, people who've been unemployed. The White River Watershed Management Team here in Delaware County uh, doing a couple projects, one of which is actually field-based, so the students will go out with GPS-enabled global positioning systems, map and record uh, stream bank conditions in Delaware County and Randolph County. But we're also doing a project with them, uh, largely historical, looking at aerial photography, aerial satellite imagery as well, um, to help identify uh, existing conservation practices um, as well as historical conservation practices uh, in the last 50 years. Our students in GIS Workshop are partnering with the Kimbra Historical District to produce a, uh, an asset survey of all of the uh, historical uh, features of some of the homes in that neighborhood. Uh, give us data to help us uh, manage our historic resources in the Emily Kimbrough Historic District here in Muncie. I'm excited because we're, we're starting to get a bit more technical in, the, in our abilities to partner with community organizations, and I'm glad to see that we're having some continuity between years so that some community organizations see the value and are able to imagine further projects with us. Uh, it's, it's been proven so far to be really advantageous for, for many of the students who go through this program because it turns in, in some cases, it turns directly into internships, uh, which for our department in geography is an actual requirement for students. They have to have an internship experience before they can graduate. Doing design work and web-based work with GIS but without without any sort of substantive or political or social agenda perhaps is less interesting, I think. If we could get someone interested in, in web-based technologies or web-based design, someone who has GIS training, um, and someone who has a real uh, passion for getting involved in community-based work, um, I think that would, be, that would be really amazing.